Kenya is currently experiencing its worst ever financial crisis since independence. Civil servants are experiencing salary delays due to the ongoing cash crisis. 20 county governments have not disbursed the March salary, while their members of parliament are yet to receive their salaries. With the government's plan to deal with the crisis being set for 2026, the opposition has called for the probe into the Kenya Revenue Authority following the delays by the government to pay salaries. In a press statement on Friday, April 7th, Kenya minority leader in the National Assembly, Opio and I said, quote, we are deeply concerned at the worsening economic situation in the country that has seen the government unable to meet one of its most basic obligations, which is paying its workers. We fear that this country is collapsing while we sit pretty, hoping for miracles. In this video, we will be diving into the causes and effects of this financial crisis and what measures Kenya is taking to address it. Kenya's financial crisis can be attributed to several factors. The first factor is the high levels of debt that the country is currently experiencing. According to a report by the East African, Kenya's debt has been increasing rapidly over the years, and it currently stands at over 70% of its gross domestic product, which is well above the recommended 50% threshold. This high level of debt is a result of the government's borrowing to finance infrastructure such as roads, bridges, and railways. While these projects are necessary for the country's development, the high levels of borrowing have put a strain on the country's economy. The second factor contributing to the financial crisis is inflation. According to the same report, Kenya's inflation has been rising over the past few years, reaching a high of 9.2% in March 2023. The rise in inflation has been attributed to the depreciation of the Kenya's shilling according to the major currencies such as the US dollar, which has made the imports more expensive. The high cost of imports has resulted in an increase in the price of basic commodities such as the food and fuel, putting a strain in the country's economy. The financial crisis has had several effects on the Kenya's economy. The first effect is the delay in civil servant salaries. According to a report by the People's Daily, civil servants have been experiencing delays in salaries due to the cash crisis. This is according to a recent leaked memo by the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, KBC, and the Independent Electoral and Boundary Commission, IEBC. The government has been struggling to raise enough money to pay its employees, resulting in delays in payments. This delay has had significant impact on the livelihoods of civil servants, many of whom are struggling to make and Smith. The second effect of the financial crisis is the slowing down of the country's economic growth. With the high levels of debt and inflation, investors are becoming hesitant to invest in Kenya, which has resulted in a slowdown of economic growth. This slowdown has resulted in a decrease in job opportunities, which has had a significant impact on the country's youth, who make up a significant portion of the unemployed population. To address the financial crisis, the Kenyan government has put in several measures. The first measure is the Treasury plan to deal with the debt crisis by 2026. According to a report by the Business Daily, the government plans to reduce its debt to GDP ratio to 57% by 2026. This plan involves reducing the country's borrowing and increasing its revenue collection. The government also plans to increase exports to reduce the country's over-reliance on imports, which will help reduce the inflation. The second measure that the government is taking is to increase its revenue collection. According to the same report, the government has been putting in places measures to increase its revenue collection, such as expanding its tax base and improving tax compliance. In conclusion, the financial crisis in Kenya is a complex issue that has been caused by various factors, including the debt burden, inflation, corruption, and mismanagement of public funds. While the government has taken steps to address these challenges, the impact of crisis is still being felt by ordinary citizens. It is essential for the government to implement sustainable solutions that will lead to economic growth and stability in the long term. We hope that this video has shed some light on the financial crisis in Kenya and has provided some insights into the challenges facing the country. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content.